Hatlema and welcome back to my channel Sehla Mehla Tunisian Cuisine Made Easy Today we'll be making stuffed pepper or what we call in Tunisia filfil mahshi I'm going over the ingredient I have 700 grams of ground beef um, I have a full head of garlic uh, two teaspoon of table, uh, half a teaspoon of paprika, which is not hot, uh, a teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of uh, black pepper, half a teaspoon of curcuma, and the salt will depend on your taste. I also have half a cup of Parmesan cheese, half a cup of breadcrumbs, uh, two big uh, heads of onions, and a full bunch of parsley. Without forgetting the peppers, I usually use the banana bell pepper. So I have my pan. I'm gonna add the half a cup of the olive oil there. Heat it up a little bit. I will then add my finely chopped onions and try to saute it a little bit before I add the meat. I'm now adding the ground beef little by little and I'll just start saute it and make sure there is no more clumps. After mixing the meat and the onions well together, I will add my garlic and I'll start to mix again. And finally, I'm adding all of my spices to the mixture and I'll let it simmer for a while until the meat gets tender and is fully cooked. At this point, I added my finely chopped parsley and mix it up. After mixing all of the ingredients together, I'll be adding about a cup of water to make sure um, the meat cooks evenly. Once ready, I'll just let it cool down for about 30 minutes and then I'll add the egg, the breadcrumbs. I also like to add some cream cheese, but this is totally optional, and the Parmesan cheese. I'll mix everything together and then my filling is ready. After cleaning my pepper, removing the cap, and then emptying this, them from the inside, I'm gonna start filling them up with the filling I already prepared. I'm using a long spoon to fill in the pepper. Uh, if you don't have this, you can just use the other side of the spoon in order to fill it all the way to the bottom. To prevent the filling from coming out of the pepper, I'll be dipping the top part of the pepper on the flour. To fry the filfil mahshi, I'm heating up some corn oil. Because the meat is already cooked, so basically what I need to cook here is the pepper and the egg that are uh, that is inside. And basically I will need probably 3 minutes from each side. The Tunisian stuffed pepper is better savored when it is warm, not when it's hot. So let it cool down and serve it with the red sauce, the Tunisian red sauce for which I'll leave the recipe link below. I hope you liked the recipe for today. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Sehla Mehla.